Hello kiddies and welcome to another episode of Techspert Weekly, another further week into the self-isolation special. We are proper balls deep in this mother right now and frankly I am one massive step closer to going full on Nick Cage up in this bitch. It's a situation that is definitely not helped by the fact that I'm running dangerously low on booze. I'm starting to seriously eye up the oven cleaner and that half a bottle of Jif that we've got stashed away in the cupboard just in case. But the fun little project I'm going to try today is producing my own homemade vodka out of a pack of spuds. I'm kind of hoping that one of these bad boys gives you roughly a pint of of vodka otherwise it might not quite see me through the weekend. But despite the fact that the entire world is basically losing its shit, the tech world is still very much moving and shaking. We've already had one massive smartphone launch this week and some more mobiles are set to make their UK debut next week as well. So let's crack on with this episode. And great news for everyone who actually likes the jingle because despite being confined to my house for the previous week I still haven't bothered to change it. So here you go. Techspert Weekly. So the big news this week was of course Huawei's online launch of the P40, P40 Pro and the P40 Pro Plus which sadly does not dispense caffeine direct into your veins otherwise I'd never put the thing down. Here on the channel I've already unboxed and done a full tour of the P40 and the P40 Pro. The P40 is actually pleasingly compact at just 6.1 inches while the Pro version bumps up to a beefy 6.6 .6 inches while increasing the battery size and cramming in some even sexier features like fast wireless charging, an upgraded 5x optical zoom lens and proper water resistance. Meanwhile the Pro Plus is pretty similar to the Pro model except you've got an option of a ceramic finish and you also now get a dual optical telephoto system capable of 10 times optical zoom and up to 100 times standard zoom as well just like the Galaxy S20 Ultra. A moment to bring you a full tips and tricks guide to give you a closer look at that Emotion UI experience on these fresh new flagships and I will also be smashing out some more content on them real soon too so keep on checking back. And now it's time for the part of the show that somehow will leave the second most depressing thing to happen in 20 20 it's fewer comments whoop, whoop. fewer comments <laughs> So first up, Chris, for future gaming reviews, I definitely recommend a game called Super Mecha Champions. Max Settings makes even the 855 struggle. Well, that sounds like a beast and you already have me at Mecha, so I'll definitely be checking that bad boy out. Uh, Kevin says, there's not many laughs to be had at the moment. Very true, sir. Uh, but thanks for giving me one, Ua, with this vid. Uh, definitely, yeah, not a problem. I'm happy to give you all one. That's how much I love you beautiful buggers. Uh, looks like, again, this week I've had lots of requests for reviews of budget to mid-range Samsung smartphones. As usual, Samsung, of course, they launch about 20 to 30 mid-range to affordable handsets every year. There's bloody tons of them. Uh, but of course, they never actually dish any out to reviewers to actually feature and actually test out. It's really, really weird. They only want to dish out the really super premium, expensive stuff. Go figure. But I will definitely try and get my grubby mitts all over these cheapy Samsung blows because those are the ones you actually see people using out in real life. For every Galaxy S10 that you spot in the wild, I see about 10, 15, 20 Galaxy A series smartphones because they are actually a lot more affordable and still pack quite a lot of decent premium features. Next up, Craig says, where's the other DVDs? Uh, I don't know what other DVDs you could possibly be referring to, sir. Uh, next up, Martin says, Hi Chris, you mentioned lots of new Nokia phones in episode 7. Did indeed, they launched a few new handsets. Go check out that episode again if you missed all of that shenanigans. But nothing about the Nokia 9 replacement, any news of that. I really like the original phone apart from its god awful fingerprint sensor. Well, so far there's actually been very few rumours indeed about a Nokia 9 follow up, be it the Nokia 9.1, 9.2, or even the Nokia 10, some people were having it as. Uh, so unfortunately, it looks like it might be delayed until sort of autumn time, potentially with all of this virus shenanigans that is going on and so far as I say very little in the way of leaks but yeah I too liked the original Nokia 9 pure view certainly wasn't a perfect handset by any means the fingerprint sensor was utter balls but I really like the innovative camera tech it was a lot of fun to play around with and it's quite unusual to have stock Android on a flagship phone so that was quite neat. Next up what phone were you reading the comments from as in in last week's Techspert Weekly I presume you mean very keen eyes sir uh, it's a phone that you will see a full unboxing and a review of early next week more on that in a bit wink wink. Next up can Terrence review the Huawei P40. Well that's a lovely idea but the review would probably be about 90% expletives. Pretty sure that YouTube would just rip that one down after about five seconds of it going live to be honest. A bit more uh, love for Terence on there as well. Terence greater than MKBHD. Uh, I'll tell you what if I can get on 10 million YouTube followers like that lad I will definitely bring Terence back 100%. Uh, how much do you have in your swear jar? Enough to afford a new jingle by Elton John I hope. Um, let me tell you I've broken at that bad boy a long time ago to stock up on booze and snacks for the impending apocalypse. And to be honest 
even with my pocket knife, I doubt I'd be able to afford the Eltons. Uh, best I could probably hope for is a catchy little ditty from DJ Assault or something. Uh, King on Cage says, hey Bird, what are the most affordable non-Chinese flagship phones either out now or expected this year? Uh, well, on the subject of HMD Global and Nokia, you've got the Nokia 8.35G, not quite a flagship phone, but certainly pretty premium in there. You've got the 5G support, as the name kind of suggests. Uh, Snapdragon 765G chipset, so it should be very capable indeed. Quad lens rear Zeiss camera, so very nice tech. Uh, hopefully be coming in around sort of £500 price point, so not too crazy expensive. Uh, you've of course got the Pixel 4a upcoming as well, which hopefully again will sport some pretty damn good specs and killer camera tech for an affordable price tag. And you've also got the likes of dependable good old Motorola, of course. I've just reviewed the G8 Power, the G8 Plus. Pretty decent specs for under £300, so well worth checking out. And another one that I'm really interested in is the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II as well. Again, it's not a flagship phone, it's more of a mid-ranger, but it boasts some really premium features like full water resistance, hopefully some really quality camera tech on the back. Nice, gorgeous 21 by 9 display. So again, one well worth checking out. Uh, next up, hey Chris, assuming the rumours are true and the Pixel 5 slash 5 XL sports a Snapdragon 765G, would that be a deal breaker for most of the previous buyers in your opinion? And do you think it'll hurt or help Google in the handset marketplace? Um, I mean, one of my biggest beefs with these Google flagships, to be honest, is always the fact that they are crazy expensive. Like 800, 900, 1000 pounds for one of these smartphones just doesn't seem good value for money to me. And clearly Google itself is starting to realise this as the price of the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL absolutely plummeted just like a month or so after those phones hit stores. So the 765G is clearly a step down in terms of the general performance and feature support compared with the 865, but it is a lot more cost effective, especially when you consider it's got that 5G modem built into it, which the 865 doesn't, which is still frankly absolutely freaking nuts. So if that, that means packing 765 into the new Pixel flagships can really bring down the cost, you still get that quality camera hardware, the performance will still be fine, absolutely perfectly fine for the latest games and all that kind of stuff. I reckon it could be a bit of a winner and hopefully the energy efficiency as well will mean better battery life, which again was a major issue with those Pixel 4 smartphones. Uh, Chris, this is no time to die, just wait, stay inside. So this is a nice little poem this is. Any advice for trying to keep up with the kids schoolwork? Um, oh god yeah, so I've been trying to teach my uh, four-year-old daughter uh, maths and English and things like that in between shooting and editing videos and frankly I've definitely got a massive newfound respect for teachers. Any teachers out there, god bless you, seriously. It's been a really tested time, like she has cried, I have cried a lot. It's been very emotional, totes emotional up in here. As for advice, I mean, just don't even ask me, man. I mean, I'm struggling my way through this as much as anybody else. All I can say is make sure you've got a well-stocked booze cupboard and take regular breaks as well so you can go away and scream into a pillow for a solid minute or two. That definitely makes me feel a lot better. Uh, so that's all I've got time for, unfortunately, as it's uh, almost time for another maths lesson. Hip, hip, hooray. Uh, but definitely please leave lots more comments down below. Uh, any questions, comments, theories on uh, how the human race is going to cope over the next few weeks because I sure as shit don't know and uh, please 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 do tune in next week for more Techspert Weeklies and what have we got coming up next week well uh, on Tuesday some very cool new wallet friendly smartphones are going to be making their UK debut and I may have possibly already done a full unboxing and a review of some of those bad boys as well so definitely tune in for all of that and that's about it for next week so we'll also be catching up with the Huawei P40 phones as well hopefully bringing you some fresh new content on those and of course making my homemade vodka I'll let you know how that goes next week give you an update on that if I'm still indeed alive so take care of yourselves you lovely people have a great weekend and please do plug subscribe and do that notifications bell if you haven't already cheers everyone love you